Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new here. So today I wanted to introduce a new series that I'm going to start doing. Hopefully posting to this series at least once a month and it's going to be a bougie on a budget series where I'll either go shopping at places like Walmart, the ways that I'm able to afford multiple clothes, anything from tips, tricks to elevate your outfit or even how to style for your body type. I hope you find a lot of value in it. Today we're actually going to start off with more so the basics and just how to style your own body and other things like that that you're going to find really useful when trying to elevate your outfit or find styles that really work for you and I think it's going to be really awesome. I'm very excited to share this with you guys. So if this is something you're going to be interested in, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in this series. So for today's first Bougie on a Budget episode, I'm going to share with you six tips that are going to really help you to elevate your outfit. And make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm going to share probably the most important tip that I have found that helped me elevate my style the absolute most. I'm going to share that tip with you at the very end of this video so make sure you watch all the way through to the end. Okay so for the first tip we're going to talk about that is basics. I did not realize how important basics are to have in your closet especially if you're building from the ground up. These are essential. They might seem super plain and super boring, but there are something that's gonna be in your outfit, in your closet, literally from day one. You're gonna reach for them all the time, and they're gonna be honestly your best friend with building an outfit because they are the base. They are the base of an outfit, and there are certain basics that I think are a necessity for you to have in your closet. The first basic that I think that is super important to have, and that is a button up. You'll want a classic white button-up. Getting a pinstripe button-up is really great as well. This is something that you can use in so many different ways. It's incredibly versatile. You can wear it on its own. You could wear it off the shoulder. You could have it just open. You can have it tied up. It can be in so many different outfits and styles. It can be casual. It can be bougie. You definitely want to get a good white button-up. Classic jeans. Now going into jeans, you're not going to want to just have one style of jean. You are going to want to mix it up a little bit. Have a straight leg, have a mom jean, have a skinny jean, a little black dress. I know little white dresses are in trend this season and obviously I'm all here for that, but a classic black dress in whichever style it is. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy. It could just be a simple bodycon dress. It could be a simple ribbed tank top dress. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but that little black dress is definitely going to be a go-to anywhere from spring leading into fall. A tailored blazer. Obviously blazers are super in trend right now, but a tailored blazer is something that you're gonna reach for well over the years. It's a classic, it's something that's always gonna stay in season, it's something that you're always gonna see introduced into people's wardrobes. I would suggest starting with a black blazer, but then I would branch out and try and get a nude or a beige blazer. White sneakers are a really good go-to. They are gonna be something that you can wear with a lot of different clothes. You can dress down an outfit, you can dress up an outfit even with sneakers. There's different types of sneakers that you can get. I suggest getting whatever you think would be most comfortable for you. So another basic or basics that you should have, you're going to want a basic white and black tee, black and white tank tops. These are basic basic. These are things that you're going to use every season, all season, you're always going to reach for them and it's really good to have one of each color. And that was something I did not realize was important until I started to get into fashion because I never went and purchased the basics. So when I started my closet, I literally had to start at the basic ground zero. I had none of the basics. I had no plain tees that were black and white. I had a lot of red for some reason. And honestly, it does take time. Don't think you can go out and just build this magical closet all right away, especially if you know, you don't have the money to go and drop that on basics. That's totally understandable. I am still building my closet. It does take time, but these are the things that you're really going to want to start off with getting because you're really going to need them when building an outfit. This one might seem silly or a lot of people might not realize how important this is, but seamless underwear, you guys, whenever you're putting on bodycon dresses or pencil skirts or you're wearing anything that fits to your body a little more, seamless underwear. You can get them in thongs, you can get them in panties, you can get them in all types of different underwear and they're so crucial. They really help eliminate that indent that those tight 
g-strings or the thongs will make it's just a lot more clean and it really helps your outfit look a lot better so please invest in some seamless underwear you're also gonna want a classic pair of flats or heels you don't have to invest in both right away I would suggest going towards whichever one you would lean for more so you're going to want a good tote bag and I'm not referencing to the tote bags that are really trendy right now I'm referencing to an everyday tote bag where it doesn't really matter what's in style or not it's gonna be a good every day bag. You're going to want to get one that you know you're going to reach for all the time. Something that's going to be really classic with an outfit and is actually practical. You can actually fit a lot in it. And you're also going to want a classic black bag. When I say a classic black bag, I'm not really referring to your tote. This will be a bag that you'll probably reach for when you go out or to fancier events or just going out to the patio. You don't want to carry your everyday bag. That classic going out bag, whatever that is for you, something that is also pretty practical. You're going to want some good sunnies. I didn't realize the power in sunglasses until I tried to recreate outfits with Hailey Bieber. I made that video probably a couple of months ago. You should check that out after this one. But I didn't realize the power sunglasses have. But to start, obviously you're not going to want to go out and buy a whole bunch of different sunglasses. But definitely start with a good classic pair that you know you're going to reach for all the time. A black leather jacket. Whenever has having a black leather jacket not been in style? That was a huge thing when I was in high school and it is a huge thing now. You're gonna want something that is a classic shape and style, something that you know that you'll always want to reach for, not something that's too trendy. A blouse. You're gonna want a good quality blouse. I would suggest getting a white one to start. You can use this not only if you're wearing it to like work, but you can wear this blouse literally going anywhere. You can wear it to dinner, to a patio. Same thing with a white button-up. You can literally wear it just open over a really cute lace bralette. You can wear it done up or off the shoulder. You can do a lot with it, but you're gonna want a good quality one because you don't want it to be see-through and you want it to last a long time. A camel trench coat. And I'm not gonna lie, this is one, a little more expensive, and two, kind of hard to find. I'm personally very picky on the color and the texture. You're likely gonna have to spend a good amount of money to get a good trench coat, especially a good trench coat in the color you like. Zara has a lot of amazing ones and H&M does too. I think H&Ms are gonna be a little more affordable than Zara's, but they both have amazing quality. I personally have not been able to snag any of the ones that I like yet because they go fast. So make sure you get one the second that you can. I know this isn't for everybody, not everybody loves turtlenecks, but a turtleneck is a really great layering piece if you don't want to wear it on your own. You can have a crew neck over top and just the turtleneck showing. You can wear the turtleneck on your own and layer with jewelry. It's very classy, very chic, and it's something that is constantly coming back every fall and every winter and it's really a good classic. So the next thing you're going to want to get is the work trousers. So this is going to be pants that you could wear to an office or to work but you can also wear them every day. You're going to probably want these in lighter colors. I would suggest getting a beige or nude color, maybe even reaching for a white color if you trust yourself enough, and getting a black color as well. These are so classy and chic. You can dress these up or dress them down. You can wear them with sneakers. You can wear them with heels, flats. They are so versatile, and they just change a whole outfit, even if you just want to wear a simple tee. Instead of going with jeans, if you add the trousers, boom, your outfit is elevated. It looks so much better. Like if you look at the difference between a plain t-shirt and jeans and a plain t-shirt and trousers, it's crazy the difference it makes. The last basic I suggest everybody having is a pencil skirt. And I know that's not something that a lot of people would normally reach for or would normally buy, but a pencil skirt is so flattering on almost every body type if not every body type and it's something that you can dress up that you can dress down i wear pencil skirts more when i go to work but sometimes i don't want to wear heels and i will throw on my guest sneakers and it just the outfit is still so cute and so chic i would totally wear it to go out to a patio or a bar because your outfit is still elevated with that skirt and it just gives you that really great shape it hugs you in all the right places and once again that's where you're going to want that seamless underwear the next tip I want to talk about is accessories. I honestly did not realize the power in accessories. This is including sunglasses, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, it's, it's everything. 
Obviously, there are going to be things that are more trendy compared to more classic, but you definitely want to start with at least the basics. You're going to want to definitely invest in those classic hoops. You're going to want at least a good bracelet to have, if not a watch. I find a watch is kind of timeless and it's something that you can kind of timeless. It's something that can look really good with an outfit. I wouldn't go with a watch that has a bolded pattern wrist wrap thing, I would go for more of a chain. You're going to want to have chunky gold necklaces, dainty ones. Belts are important. Belts really add a lot of separation from the top and the bottom of your outfit, especially if you're wearing an all black outfit and it just feels like you're, you're drowning and you need a little bit of separation. A belt does so much. My next tip is to use inspiration. use Pinterest, follow accounts on Instagram. Before, I used to just buy items that I thought were cute and then I would come home and be like, I have nothing to pair this with, I have nothing to style this with, or I have no idea how to style it. And then I end up wasting money because I never reach for that item because I never have anything to style it with. I like to go to Pinterest and I actually have a Pinterest board called All Things Fashion. I have my Pinterest linked down below if you want to see my style, the things that I like, or the outfits I'm trying to recreate. That is all there. I have it all in organized words for seasons and stuff like that as well. So it's really easy to go and find inspiration. So I will go and I will pin outfits that I like, things that I want to recreate, styles that I want to try. And when I go and I purchase clothing or when I go shopping, I keep in mind and always reference my Pinterest board of tops that I might need or statement pieces that I might need because my end goal is to actually create one of those outfits. That has helped me a lot in buying things that I one, don't need, and two, that I'm never going to reach for. I always purchase things I'm always going to constantly wear and use in different outfits. Obviously having the basics really helps because a lot of those outfits do have one of those basics somewhere in that outfit. So once you have those and you just need to find statement pieces, it's a lot easier to recreate the outfits that you find on Pinterest. Find someone on Instagram that you really like. Save their posts. You can actually create little saved categories on Instagram and you can make a little fashion one and you can constantly reference it. A lot of people on Instagram, I know myself, I do this, tag where your items are purchased. So when you're purchasing things, I've found during COVID that I really have been liking online shopping more than shopping in person. One, for the convenience, but two, I can also use at Google extensions like the one Honey. That's the one I use. I've been using Honey for probably eight years now, if not longer. I can't even remember the first time I downloaded it but it will look for codes and coupons and all these things to help you save money. And sometimes you save a lot of money. Sometimes it's $5, sometimes it's $50, sometimes it's over $100. This extension works for you to find all these discounts and it will stack up as many discounts and coupons as it possibly can to save you the most amount of money. So I definitely would suggest downloading an extension like Honey. My next tip and the other reason why I like online shopping is because some stores do offer buy now, pay later. These options are called Paybrite, Afterpay, Quadpay. I don't know what any of the other ones are, but I know those are the main three that I have personally seen and use. Not all websites use them, a lot of them do. I am in Canada, so not all websites actually let you use it in Canada, but I know in other places like America, pretty much all of them work for almost every store. But basically it lets you buy a large amount of clothing and split your total payment into four easy payments, which helps a lot when you're trying to buy a bulk amount. It helps it be more affordable for you to get everything that you want but to do it in payments that are affordable. I do think you're capped at four, so if you have four going, you're not allowed to have a fifth one, but a lot of places use it, even Sephora uses it. And my last tip for you guys today, which is probably the most important tip, know your body type. Be honest with yourself, know your body type. There's actually body calculators that you can look up. I will leave one link down below where you put in your measurements and it will tell you the type of body type that you have. All body types are beautiful. This is not to shame anybody or make you feel bad. All body types are beautiful, but this just helps you know 
how to style your body to achieve maybe the body type that you want. I feel like the hourglass body type is the one that most of us are aiming for. Every body type is different. Every body type is going to have patterns that they should stay away from, different silhouettes that they should stay away from, the way that they style their body might be different than others. Even if you are trying to achieve the hourglass body type but your body type is an apple, those outfits and styles that an hourglass body type would wear and use is not going to work for those other body types because they are shaped differently. But if you style yourself the way that the rectangle body type would to achieve the hourglass, you can mimic it a lot better than if you just wore what the hourglass style wore. So I do suggest looking into that. That has been a huge help because there are a lot of things for my body type that I didn't realize, oh, I should be actually wearing this instead of that. And when you just make that little switch, you're actually, you just sit back going, wow, why haven't I done this sooner? That looks way better than what I was doing before. Obviously, if you don't care about that stuff, you don't have to do that. If you wanna go wear a pattern that is advised not to, go ahead. That is completely up to you. I'm not saying that you have to do this, but I would suggest it because it has helped me a lot, not only in feeling confident in my outfit, but really taking my outfits to the next level. You can even find these little description diagrams on Pinterest if you type in your body type. You can find like a picture of what it would look like. You can find a description of what to try, what not to try. So if you don't wanna look on websites because it might be too much reading, I do know Pinterest kind of takes that information and condenses it and puts it into a little picture that you can look at and it makes it a lot easier. So if you don't have the time to go and search the web for all this information, you can find more condensed versions on Pinterest if you type in what your body type is. Thank you so much for watching this series, you guys. I hope you really did enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below to let me know what you thought. If there's any tips that you thought were really useful and you wanna share with everybody down in the comments, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram as well. I have a lot of good content on there. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.